Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Steel Division Normandy 44. We are on the last mission of the Mission Boston campaign. Uh, Iron Fist is the name of this mission. Uh, looks like we have, it's the 11th of June, which is about five days after the D-Day invasion on the 6th. And here's our mission orders. Major Warren, Panzer Ersatz Abteilung 100 has been located near the, uh, the village of Bopta. It seems its old tanks are slowing its retreat, which gives us the opportunity to trap it between your battalion and elements from the 101st Airborne coming the opposite way. Your order orders are to link with the 506th from 101st Airborne, thus trapping as many German troops as possible between you. As a secondary objective, try to get in contact with the local resistance. They seem a bit over eager to get to grips with the retreating occupier and could be of some help if you are able to channel their zeal. Main objective defeat the Germans. Here we go. With new divisions being brought ashore almost daily, we're finally breaking through the German defenses. Although the 101st is still heavily engaged in Carenton against the German paratroopers, the 4th Infantry Division is opening the way to Cherbourg to the north, while the 90th is leading the charge west to cut the Cotentin in two. As for us, we've been given the opportunity to settle some scores with our old friends from Panzer Abteilung 100. We are about to link with elements from the 101st Airborne coming from the southeast, trapping any German units still lingering north of us, amongst which the French resistance has identified Panzer Abteilung 100 retreating towards the village of Bopt and attempted to harass it on its way. The ambush appeared to have worked well at first until the local FFI partisans encountered Fallschirmjäger forming the rear guard of the German column. The FFI have been pushed back into the woods, surrounded. Our orders are to link with the 101st and seal the pocket, destroying Panzer Abteilung 100 in the process, and if we can, to give the partisans some assistance. Yet beware of those Fallschirmjäger. They are no ordinary soldiers, and intel can't tell us much about their strength. It's payback time. All right, so we got to link up with our other the friends and then help the resistance if we can. Compose your battle group. All right, so let's start over here with the air. It's definitely a good thing. It should not be a problem here. We should use our remaining planes for ground support. Be aware that German flank is always dangerous. Let's say the German flank. <laughs> I think it's German flak is what you meant to say. Uh, so we got some marauders. Um... What's the difference here between these two Marauders? I don't think... I don't know, there's a little bit of difference. Oh, these are bigger bombs. Wow. Let's actually, uh, let's go ahead and pin you. So, the one that's only got a single usage is much bigger bombs. Almost four times the size, actually more than four times the size of the bombs. And then, machine guns are basically the same otherwise. So, it's really just the bombs that's, that's the difference. It's pretty massive. And then what do we got up here? We got these guys. I think those are the same as these other ones, aren't they? Yeah, those look the same. Okay, so we got those both uh, Marauders. Um, I mean, I would love to have two of these, but I'm actually thinking about going Mustang, uh, Thunderboat. Uh, we'll do one Marauder up here in the early stages. A thunderbolt, and then we'll see one of these late stage heavy bomb uh, marauders, and I think that's going to be pretty fine. So that's actually going to give us a total of five planes running around, which I think is going to be fine. All right, artillery. We we'll definitely want a few mortars. So let's get some of these early mortars. Those are going to help us a lot. Tempted to go with these howitzers. Those are going to be nice as well. What else we got way down here? Hmm. So you have a off off the map heavy battalion, okay. And you have what do you have available? You have the naval battalion, okay. 
Um, let's get at least one more phase A something. Let's go ahead and go with the these guys. And then for phase B, let's get some of these heavier mortars. And... This guy's nice, but let's go ahead and just get one of these. And let's get one of these uh, observers. And I think that's going to be all right. And these are basically the same battalions off, off, off map, so that's going to be okay. That only gives us one off map setup. We might actually replace these howitzers for... No, I think this is going to be fine. That's going to be all right. All right, anti-air. They said there's not very really much uh, need for anti-air stuff. So I think I'm just going to get one token set here in the middle. You know, if nothing else, we can use them for uh, anti-infantry stuff. Anti-tank. Destroyers are excellent hunters, armed with a 76 millimeter anti-tank gun. Unfortunately, they won't be available till phase C. All right. Well, we definitely need to get some of these guys, even though they're not going to be available to phase C. We at least need to get some of them. Um, probably some of these phase B 57 mils, and then I think uh, just a scattering of different ones from the other ones. So let's get some of the 57s in phase A. So I'm going to 37, actually not to get those, let's get the ones with three stacks. And then we'll get some bazookas. And I think that's going to be fine. A good, good array of uh, anti-tank setup. All right, actual tanks. Oh, no, there's support. Let's go actual Finally, tanks. We will get heavier armored support. M4A1 are inferior to standard German tanks, but the M4A3, with their more powerful 76 millimeter guns, are better armed to deal with them. Okay, and we have 35 total troops. Goodness. Um... So let's get some of these phase C guys. Those are going to come in just the right time, probably. It's a lot of M4A1s that we can get. It's not till B, but I think that's going to be good. Let's get some of these command guys thrown in. Uh, M4DDs, I don't know if that's really going to matter. I mean, is there any more armor or anything? They've actually got technically a small bit more armor. Which is a little interesting. Well, in that case, let's get one of these up front just to have something nice. And let's get a stack of these light tanks as well. It's only one tank in the early phase. I'm tempted to get another one of those, but you know what? Let's get a phase B of one of these heavies. It's a lot in phase B though, but I think that's going to be all right. All right, so the infantry. Part of the area is covered with forest. Expect intense close-range combat there. It is important to support your infantry there with leaders to strengthen them. All right, so we definitely need some leaders. Do we have any leaders up here? We don't. Oh, there we are. Okay, so we do have a couple leaders. So let's get one of you at least. Um, let's get some machine guns. That's going to be important. Probably some engineers. And then some just some standard rifles. So it's a lot of upfront phase A stuff. Let's go ahead and throw in some uh, glider rifles in phase B. That's a huge stack of them. And another heavy machine gun. At least one glider leader. What else do we want to fit into here? So there's nothing phase C for the infantry, which is fine. Probably just some more rifles. Just standard rifles. That's only a three stack. Let's get some phase B rifles. Oh, that's, I just realized... Uh, so these are glider rifles. No, that's going to be fine. The glider rifles, just a whole bunch of possible. That's going to be okay. Um, so recon. We're going to want some pathfinders, probably. And... Let's get a couple of these M8s later in the game. And let's just get something else uh, recon related. Um, I think just some more phase A's. That's going to be fine. Some pathfinders, some regular recons. It's going to be all right, I think. All right. So, infantry tanks. So, we've only got two spots left. So, that's just two spots for support at this point. We're definitely going to need to get some supply. So I think a couple of these late supplies are going to be good. And then 
really actually like to get some of these command vehicles as well. I'm tempted to trim back on some of these other things. You know, if we've got the Pathfinders, I don't think we're going to need the recon. It's going to be quite a few. And then as far as infantry, let's get rid of one of these stacks of glider rifles. I think that's going to be plenty of infantry. Tanks, I think we're okay. So that gives us a couple more support. I think some early Jeep supply is going to be fine. Probably going to be good to have some early machine guns, just mobile machine guns. This artillery thing here, though, is pretty cool. That thing's got 10,000 supply. These all have 5,000, but there's three of them. Let's get a command vehicle. And if we wanted anything else, we'd have to drop something, but I think this is actually going to be okay. You know what? Let's drop you. Let's get this thing. I think, I think that's going to be kind of cool. Nothing in phase B at the moment, but I think these jeeps will be able to supply us, and then a couple ducks coming in late should be enough to get us what we need. And we're not going to need any of these tanks and things. That's, I'm just going to grab this because it's a, kind of more of an artillery type of setup. Everything else looks good. Only one anti-air, but I think that's going to be plenty. All right, let's go back. Pretty good assortment. Um, I think I'm all right with this. Okay, so we've got a little bit of... Actually, we have quite a few points, so... Um... How do we want to set this up? So we got a couple of roads over here. We got like this one main road. Biggest thing we need to do is probably scout out a little bit over here to the west, just to kind of see what's going on with the Parsons. Maybe try and link up with them. But primarily, we're trying to you know knock out the guys over here to the east side of things. Well, I say east, you know, east as I'm facing now. Um, so we do have some early tanks. I think we should go ahead and knock uh, get this early tank out here. Let's get him on this road, kind of going east. We do have some early air as well. It's going to be very expensive, but I think it's going to be good to have that guy going out somewhere. I'd like to get the howitzer, but let's just go ahead and get some mortars. Just to um, just have something out here. We're going to need a couple of infantry. Let's get some recon over here to the west. Some pathfinders going out there, that direction. Probably some infantry as well. Let's get a leader and just some regular rifles going that way. Probably actually going to get a machine gun as well. Just to kind of set something up over here just to help defend. Probably going to want some anti-tank. Let's go. Let's start with the light one initially. We'll probably bump up to the heavy one as soon as we can. Support. Let's go and get this bad boy out and see what he can do. And 50 cal. Let's get another artillery going over here to the west. And what else can we do? So maybe some more infantry. Let's get some engineers going out that way. Kind of putting everybody on the road at the moment, but I'm not sure if I'm sorry, how I'm going to keep them. Let's get some Pathfinders over here to the east as well. Okay, so that looks like a good setup of just about everything we've got. I've kind of kept everybody on these roads, so let's see if we want to move some people around in other more intelligent ways. Um, you. You are a recon, so let's get you on this road. And we're going to have you unload... Probably up here in these woods. I'll let you off at these coordinates. Uh, let's see, you guys, let's go ahead and have you unload up here in these woods, and we'll kind of sneak you along the road here. Sir. Same thing with you. Let's go ahead and have you guys unload. We'll unload you on the other side. Machine gun, same thing. We're going to unload here, and we'll kind of just creep forward through the woods. Ready to transport. Same with you guys. We'll just put you on the other side. It's going to be fine. Jeep 50 cal. How about you?
Let's just have you move up to kind of this clearing up here. And then the uh, mortar. I'm going to have you unload in this little kind of opening right there. And I think this going to be fine. So everybody going up that way is, I think, going to be okay. Uh, other recon. You're going to come over here. And I'm going to put you on this road. Actually, I want you to move. I'm going to have you unload. I want you to unload one of these trees or something. I don't think I'm going to be able to get you all the way up to that building. Huh. Let's go ahead and have you unload there. It's a little bit risky, but I think it's going to be all right. Um, Jeep, I don't need to move you. Well, I guess I do. You're, the, you're my anti-tank. Let's have you unload. Kind of right over here. Or maybe back over here behind this building, so you're kind of tucked away. I'll load right there. You're going to go ahead and kind of come up and... Kind of stay in this area for now until we figure out what's going on. Tank, you're also going to kind of stay in this area. And who else we got over here? Do I have another mortar? Maybe I only had that one. Oh, no, there it is. Mortar. You... Go ahead and unload. Just kind of over in this area as well. We'll see what we can do with you guys. All right. I think that's that. And Mustang will have you come out as soon as we see something and just have you blow up the first thing you find. Let's launch it. We've been able to hail the 506th on the radio, Major. They're close. Once we've linked with them, we could trap a lot of Germans. A lot of people moving. We are pushing back the borders pretty heavily. Radio check red one through six, over. Let's go ahead and have you move up to that Bordeaux, building up there. I'm going to have you follow him. Did I not tell you to unload up here? I'll get you there as soon as possible. Ah, so they do have fighters. Oh, it's not fighter, it's a... Uh, I think it's just a scout guy, isn't he? Yeah. That's alright, we'll blow him up, make sure he can't see anything, we're good. Ah, so there is a tank. Ready, sir. Degrees left. Fire. You guys fire up that direction. Alright, go ahead and retreat, retreat, retreat. Where's my retreat button? Oh, you can't fall back into your pin or pin, pin, fall back, I guess, yeah, into your pin, I guess, completely. All right, you guys, go ahead and move up to the front edge of this. Go, Mustang, come over and just blow up that, that uh, guy right there. Okay, you're going to go ahead and fall back. I'm just going to have you move over here. I don't think you're going to be needed over on that side. Oh, wow. That's a lot of tanks. All right. All right. Slow it down for a second. We got a lot of tanks coming up this way. Anti-tanks. Uh, let's get one of the bad boys. Big bad boys up here. Kind of over here to the side, I think. Did that work? No, that didn't work. Come over here. And then... Let's get another one of these smaller ones over here as well. Whew, that's a lot of tanks. Oh, I don't want to go fast. Oh, I had more. Perfect. Another smaller one up here. Just line you guys up. All right, are you good now? So you can get over here in this, this area over here. Come on over here. Alright, what are you guys doing? Um, let's have you guys keep on moving up this direction. You're going to go ahead and keep on scouting up. Machine gun. Guess you can kind of come up the road here. Open fire. 
Oh my god, blow him up. Come on, guys, blow him up. All right, slow down for just a little bit. Uh, I want to get a um, supply truck over here just to make sure these guys stay supplied. You're going to hide, hopefully back here behind this building, and that'll be fine. You two guys, I guess, should just keep on try and slowly make your way through the woods. Because it looks like not a lot's going on right now. Uh, I guess I'm going to try and get you guys all to come across here. Jeep, come up to this clearing up here. You go ahead and get across the woods here and see if you can kind of see what's on the up that road. All right. Uh, you're actually recovered. So get up in this stuff right here. Get stay in full cover. Kind of keep us spotting stuff. Come on, guys. I want all you guys blowing those things up. Slow back down. Let's, we may need some more anti-tanks over here. Um, let's get a bazooka guy. Just come on up here. Maybe he can sneak into these woods over here and kind of help do something. And then... Got all this stuff over here is fine. Support. We're good. Anti-air. We don't need anything right now. A howitzer. Howitzer would be kind of cool. Let's get a howitzer up in this area. And that's going to be fine for now. Start firing. Come on, guys, get over there. There's a lot of tanks. All right, you can go ahead and unload. Or not you. Everybody here is pinned down. I not really got you. In, don't have you in very good defensive stuff. Go and retreat. I'll just have you fall back as well. Alright, um... Oh, what are we going to do now? Let's see. Um, all we got left over here is bazookas and supports and stuff. No tanks yet. Phase B is like four minutes away. Goodness. Um, how are you guys doing over here? I've kind of been kind of ignoring you guys. Let's get you up here. You kind of get up into... Let's see if you can just make a beeline up for these guys. I want to have you just keep sneaking across this way. You guys are still sort of crawling through the woods very slowly. Probably going to need some more, um, like, rifles and things up this direction. See if you guys can make it all the way up to here. Get some engineers up here as well. Let's get another machine gun and another leader. All you guys see if you can make it all the way up to here. And that's going to be fine for now. Everybody here is basically falling back. What's your vision right now? Looks like you can see no line of sight, distance, no line of sight, no line of sight, no, no line of sight of any of these guys. Hmm. I may follow you back and just try and set up something more defensive back here. Just have you guys fall back a little bit. Wait for them to come to us a bit more.
All right, let's, uh, let's let things go a little bit more again. Is that artillery shooting at us or something? Right flank, huh? Come on, dude. Get back behind here. What do you got vision on? Not much. Dude, get behind the tree. Guess you're still falling back. Can you fire on these guys? Looks like you can. Trying to do some firing. Alright, so we've got the partisans. Let's see if we can do here to make sure that we are doing the right thing. I guess we're here kind of working on those guys. You guys go ahead and unload in here. You go ahead and unload here. You guys go ahead and unload. Let's see if you can come over here and unload over that side. You two guys, just start firing on this guy right here. Oh, Jeep's destroyed. Where was the Jeep at? I thought he was going to go up this direction. Oh, well. What are all you guys doing? What in the world are all you guys? Oh, we must have gotten... Is this the French guys? Oh, uh, okay. No, that's cool. I was like, what? So, are you a supply thing? No, you're not. You're just a machine gun. Our new partisan friends have contacted some of their comrades who have captured the workshop from Panzer of Tula 100 near But you guys head up this way, kind of help defend the road, maybe. In fact, we're going to send a couple of you guys up there as well to kind of help defend this road. Whereas the rest of you guys... Let's see, you, you, and you all head up this way and see if you can kind of just do something over here. All right. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. We're almost into phase B. It's been going a little bit slow, but we also started off, you know, getting all of our stuff set up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pause it for a second. Uh, and we'll see if we can pick back up now that we've got some reinforcements from the, uh, the French resistance. Maybe that'll help us push this over the edge. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.